introduction from How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Pamela will assume the identity of Max the dog. And now, let's all enjoy the care and feeding of the Grinch, the care and feeding of the Grinch, Max the dog. <laughs> Down in Whoville, liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Yuletide season. Don't ask me why, no one quite knows the reason, but here with us today is his trusted dog, Max. He'll tell you his story and fill in the facts. <laughs> I'm Max. I'm the dog. And my job is a cinch. I keep a close eye on my master, the Grinch. We're quite alike. You can see what I mean. Only my fur is brownish and his fur is green. You all may be wondering, what does a Grinch eat? A stinky raw onion is his type of treat. He loves food that's rotten. I guess you could say the term for my master is garbage gourmet. Just where he went wrong, I do not know at all. It could be his heart was a wee bit too small. He sneaks down to Whoville and he likes to play pranks. I always go along, but he never says thanks. One prank that we pull always works without fail. We hide in the post office and mix up the mail. <laughs> One day, a hoot gal fell down the chute. I made the boss save her. She was kind of cute. That gal missed the stamper by one little inch. That day, Cindy Lou grew quite fond of the Grinch. Like me, that gal knew my master is good. The Grinch isn't evil, he's just misunderstood. That's me, standing guard by his cave. I'm scaring the Who's, and I have to be brave. Woo! 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 Unlike the Who's down in Whoville, who like Christmas a lot, my boss absolutely, positively, most assuredly, does not. Now, to honor the Grinch, give him reason to care, was Cindy Lou Who's great idea of a dare. And so, who Belation, which comes once a year, decided to name him the Chairman of Cheer. Now, the boss was too shy. He did not want to come. But I used my noggin and persuaded him some. I helped him to dress and to clean up his face. And then we went to join the whole human race. I'm so sad to report this was not a success. Too much food, too much noise, and way, way too much stress. And back up at the cave, the Grinch sang a song. He dreamed up a scheme, and I as usual, went along. He dressed up in a suit made of red trimmed in white. 
he gave me one Entler, why one, not two, and we waited for night. Then we flew down to Whoville in a great sleigh. We made us some history on that Christmas day. Then the Who's fooled the Grinch in a wonderful way as they woke up to that Grinchful day. And we could see from Mount Tumpet, Crumpet, the top of Mount Crumpet, we could easily tell that the spirit of Christmas was still alive and well. And then all of a sudden, well, what do you know? The Grinch's old shriveled up heart must have started to grow. He packed up their Christmas. He brought it all back. <coughs> yes, lock, stock, and toy in a huge bulging sack. My boss keeps Christmas alive in his heart. And I like to say that I play a small part. And you can see for yourself that it's really a cinch to give a dog a hug to my master, the Grinch. Let this be a lesson to you who's my friends. Christmas is in your heart. That's where it begins. I'll be on my way before the first light. Merry Christmas to all and to all. A good night.